Day two is in the books. The New York Jets select two big time weapons. Welcome to New York, Brees Hall and Jeremy Ruckert. Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Boys and girls, I go live every Monday for my live call-in show, and then Tuesday we come back with our Talking Jets panel, myself, O'Leary, and Green Bean. But for now, we are going live for all three days of the NFL Draft. We've done days one, days two, and now tomorrow, starting at 11 a.m., Day three, rounds four through seven. The Jets have two picks early on, and we're going to have a bunch of special guests giving their thoughts on how the Jets draft went and how they envision this team moving forward. But let's move on to our topic of the day, and that is the New York Jets selecting Brees Hall and Jeremy Rucker. Now, this is something that Jet fans, I don't think, saw coming. I Look, so I shouldn't say I don't think they saw coming. My brother was all about Brees Hall. <laughs> He was texting me as soon as the, the draft ended yesterday. He's like, Brees Hall, we got to get him, we got to get him, we got to get him. I was like, oh, I don't know if they're going to wind up going running back that early. It's kind of high. Well, I was totally wrong. They traded up with the Giants, giving up a fifth round pick to jump just two spots, jumping in front of Houston to select their new franchise running back, a guy that's going to share the backfield with Michael Carter and Tevin Coleman, our secondary and third running backs, all three backs in the stable. Absolutely love this. Brees Hall is a violent runner, very, very violent runner, and a strong runner. Look at his stats over the course of the last few years, his, three years ago, his freshman year, 1,149 yards, 4.8 yards per carry, 10 touchdowns, and he gets better each year, increasing in yards per carry, total yards, those are scrimmage yards, not just rushing yards, because he's a receiving back as well, which is really, really cool to see, and 23 touchdowns each of the last two years. The Jets could use like half that. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fantastic. But now you got this, this plethora of backs. You saw how the Jets wanted to attack the beginning part of this season, and they did a lot of 12-man fronts. They wanted to run the ball. They wanted to play ball control, and they wanted Zach Wilson to be able to take shots when he could take advantage of the play action. Well, the best way to have a good play action is to have a good offensive line in front of you and to have some elite running backs behind you because you got to have the threat of running the ball, and Brees Hall is the threat. Absolutely. This, it's incredible. Now, next-gen stats, according to them, uh, over the last 15 drafts, there have been five players with a 99 uh, overall draft score. Travis Etienne, Najee Harris, Saquon Barkley, and Derrick Henry. And Brees Hall. So you're talking this guy's in that kind of company? All right. Yep. Uh-huh, I'm good with this. This is a great move for your young quarterback. The best way to help him, not just getting him weapons to throw the ball to, but to play ball control offense. Keep the other offense off the field. Get them out of rhythm. That's why you get them off the field with the defense, the interceptions, the pressure you get from the, the edge rushers, and then you keep them off the field with your running game, your short slants, and your ball control offense. I really like this Brees Hall pick. Now, we get to move on to our local hometown favorite. That is Jeremy Ruckert, the Jet fan, tight end from Ohio State University. Now, this was a Jet fan favorite, probably mocked in like every one of my mock drafts in some capacity in like the middle, like fourth round or so, third, fourth round. And it was really cool to get this guy at the tail end of the draft or tail end of, of day two. This is someone who has a lot of upside. Teammates with Garrett Wilson at Ohio State, but he was one of like five or six weapons, and he was way down the pecking order. So you're not looking at a guy that has a ton of stats. Just last year, he had 26 receptions, 309 yards, and three touchdowns. So you're not seeing elite stats, but again, you look at how much Chris Olave was in invested into that offense, how much Garrett Wilson was invested into that offense. So now you kind of take that into account. You look at the upside. You look at the measurables. He's six foot five. 250 some odd pounds. This guy is going to be a household name for the New York Jets. We had it said in the chat, this guy could be our new Wayne Corvett, a hometown guy, local kid that has a huge high upside. And this is great. It's someone that could grow with Zach Wilson. Because look, we have a deep tight end room now. Along with the deep running back room, you now have Yuzma, you have Conklin, and you have 
Jeremy Ruckert, all in. I mean, it's just way better than last year. <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, last year you had Croft, you had Griffin. And you look across the team in general. You look at the offensive line. You add Lake and Tomlinson. You're getting Makai Becton back. You have your wide receivers. You brought in uh, Garrett Wilson. You have Elijah Moore coming back. Braxton Barrios resigned. Uh, Corey Davis in the building. Denzel Mims. Like, this is a deep wide receiver room. Then you have the deep running back room. Tevin Coleman, Brees Hall, uh, Michael Carter. Then you have the ugh, tight ends, the running backs. Everything, you're surrounding Zach the way you should. This is awesome. <laughs> this is absolutely great. And Jeremy Ruckert, what's really cool, Chris Sims, one of the guys that had Zach Wilson, number one overall quarterback, has Jeremy Ruckert, number one overall tight end. So if you're following all the stats and questions and things and thought processes in what's going on with Joe Douglas and this whole draft, the Jets got arguably number one cornerback in the draft arguably the number one wide receiver in the draft, arguably a top three edge in this class. We got the number one running back, and then according to Chris Sims, we got the number one tight end as well. Upside, baby. Upside, depth. I love this. This is everything I wanted from the Jets' first two days of the NFL draft. I would like to see, uh, I don't know what I would want to see in the next, next round. I do expect maybe a center, or you could see linebacker, or safety, or swing tackle. We only have two picks. <laughs> it's so wacky, right? Like, you don't know where they're going to go with these next two picks. I thought I knew where they were going to go with these last two picks. Turns out, that's not the case at all. But I'm really excited for this. We got two great weapons coming into New York. It's been a lot of fun hanging out with you guys. Let me know in the comment section down below what you think of Brees Hall and Jeremy Ruckert. And as always, go Jets! Jets!